What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Sword Drift on the mobile platform. We're gonna be getting sideways, maybe doing some daily challenges, taking the thousand horsepower M4 out. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All that's found in the description box below. Let's get to it. Let's get on the mobile Torque Drift game and have a little fun. <laughs> So we do have a Long Beach Chase Challenge, I believe, daily challenge here at Tokyo Drift. And it looks like we are going against Rad Dan. We've got to get 40,000, so we're going to be taking the M4 out. We are over 1,000 horsepower now in this M4. So we're going to see if we can't get that 40,000 right away here on the Tokyo Drift circuit of Long Beach. Throwing it in. Ooh. He threw a little more angle there than I thought. Kind of caught me a little off guard, but we still good. Little wall tap. We're still there. We're still kind of in his door-ish. Still getting the chase points. That is a little bit more angle than I wanted to throw there. A little bit of catch-up to do. We're going to cut this corner short. Cut that one short as well. Ooh, almost biffed it into that wall. I don't know if we're going to get the 40k on the first run. Oh yeah, we got it. We good. 40,000 first run. This is the first time I've ever done daily challenge on the first try. So, I feel a little bit accomplished by that. 40k chase challenge Tokyo Drift with the M4. So, we are going to go see what else we can do on tandeming and stuff like that. Let's see. Uh, the one thing I want to do is I want to go into settings. Quality, I believe it is. I want to turn off... I want to turn off the chase... The chase indicator. Because apparently it shows my line. Stability assist. Why do I have stability assist on? What? Why? Oh, guide path. That's what I want to turn off. I probably should turn stability control off too. But, <coughs> so we got a gold Tokyo Drift here that we're going to try and see if we can get some tandems with some randoms here for today. 1,090 horsepower in this M4. We are down to not next and tires. So, <coughs> kind of ran out of next and tires. So, hopefully, we'll still be getting enough grip. So, we're going to go with some Hi Fi Team Pro 1 car in that S15. I feel like we should be okay with this, but we are waiting a long time. Either somebody's taking a screenshot, or um, they are changing some stuff around. 1,025 for, or 1,125 against 1,090. This should be a good battle, so hopefully we can get a good lead. The M4 definitely uh, coming a long way from when I first started building it, and it handles quite well. These tires do not have as much grip really close to that wall. They don't have as much grip as the Nexons are, so i got to be very mindful of that a little bit. I'm going to overcook it into some of these sections. So I could easily overcook the car and uh, fifth the wall and totally screw up my lead run. But we're not doing too bad trying to... Oh, with the wall drag. I will take that wall drag and I will raise you a solid lead run. And there we go. It's a solid lead Tokyo Drift run. Hopefully he got a good lead run as well. 46, decent lead run. So hopefully we'll get a chase. We do get a chase. I don't know why this is ready for update. It is updated. So we chase down the S15 here on the parking garage of Long Beach. I'm gonna put up a better launch than I did, and there goes the not having enough grip in the car. So now we got some catch up to do. So, kick it up in the fourth. 
managed to catch up at least into the chase position to get points. A little clutch kick there. Oh, he almost biffed it into that wall. Oh, oh huge over angle. Oh, and there, and there goes his lead, and that's why he only ran 40. Fortunately, he took the wall, and uh, the wall won. Took his bumper with him. So I feel like we'll take a W on that one for sure, and we're gonna see maybe he'll wanna go again, or maybe we'll try to find somebody else. I do love the Tokyo Drift Circuit. We definitely did take the W. Is he gonna want a rematch? He is, we're gonna give him that rematch. So let's try to get another solid lead run. Maybe get um, more points than we did before. Get a hard initiation. Yep, didn't get the initiation points, and oh my, another wall drag. Winglet over top of the barrier. Winglet almost over top of the barrier there, going wall to wall now with this M4. That's a little bit wide. That's going to be a very big slowdown. Sorry for him on the chase of that. So hopefully we don't make a mistake in the chase now that we know we need to be in fourth gear, not third, on initiation. Kick it in. That was a little bit sooner than I wanted. We want to run that outside wall and get more close call points. Oh, we lost our drift chain right at the end coming off that guard. I would say guardrail, but coming off of that incline, we kind of stepped out 95 to 55. I was hoping to break 100, but unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to break 100. That wall tap, though, my phone uh, kind of shaked and shake there, too on those wall taps. I don't know, I think he may have said see ya. Nope, we're gonna get a chase. So let's try and stick to his door. Ooh, bit of a hesitation on the start. Kick it in the fourth. Initiate in, initiate hard in. All right, initiated late and, yep, that's the wall. So, unfortunately, I don't know my initiation point on my chase for some reason and I fifth the wall two times in a row now. But we are back in the chase slot now, so over angle by the 15. Oh, the man lost it. Oh, uh, yes. So that happens. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to take the win because if he had a very solid chase, he could bypass us because we didn't only got 6,000 on the chase. Kind of got a little thrown into that concrete wall. Getting a little bit too aggressive. And uh, that's what happens when you get a little too aggressive here on the uh, parking garage of Long Beach. Still going to take the win, though. So we're going to go. Yep, he said sayonara. So we'll see if we can find somebody else here. Do maybe one more run here and switch up tracks. Definitely probably should buy some more Nexons because this car is slipping a little bit too much on these uh cars oh same dude he's probably not gonna want to go again but we're gonna try high fi team definitely uh an uphill battle for him right now that's the initiation i wanted got the close call initiation points getting close called oh too much of a hard tap backing it into that wall so not gonna be a hundred point run I do not believe because well we kind of uh stuffed our back bumper into that wall feather off throttle there we go a little clutch kick there a little handbrake flick Whoa, right on that wall though a little left foot brake or index finger braking and finish it off with ooh. 70, 78, 79. Definitely gonna oh, 82. So we're definitely gonna have to stay solid on our lead because or our chase because I could see him picking up some points and uh, taking a W on this one. So gotta make sure we be mindful and try and initiate when we should. Like right there. Nope. Once again into the wall. Same thing every chase run. This one didn't mess us up too bad though. Oh. Man went hard into that wall. It's definitely unfortunate for both of us. 
wreck it. Oh my goodness, and now he's wrecked hard on the wall. He may actually get this win. Team Hi-Fi, or Hi-Fi Team, or HF Team, or whatever, how whatever it is pronounced. Sorry if I butchered it. May take a W, if he takes W, then GG, sir. Kind of tried to get a little bit too aggressive, and I got too aggressive there, too. And, yep, just goes to show. Don't be super, super aggressive, because, well, that will happen. Only 35. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We still took the win, so we're going to go see what other track we can run. Got a storm of brewing outside, apparently. So we got the yard, we got the bridge, so let's go to the yard, the bridge. It's got 20 minutes left. Bridge is a fun track. I feel like the car will handle very well there. So, being back in the Euro car is definitely fun. And if you guys remember, my E46 was my killer car that I used to always rock. Did sell it. And I know a lot of people have been asking, why did I sell all my cars? Well, sold all the cars to try to get some extra money because I wanted to build some new cars for you guys for content and stuff like that. And, well, unfortunately, I screwed myself on that one. God Games 2. Golden looks like a golden Mustang, 1,040 horsepower. Should be a good straight-up battle, I think. Haven't driven the bridge section in a minute, so we're definitely going to need to reacclimate ourselves with this. Throw it in, kind of on the wall, a little bit more handbrake there, so we don't go too far and biff the wall there. I'm going to quick flick that. Suck up to there, I'm going to try and suck up to the outer wall. Get those close call points and get all of our clips. Stretch this out to that clip there. Finish it off just by tagging it with the bumper at the end. We still got a clean lead run, so 77 to 37 is definitely a solid lead for me. So 38, 379. So we do have an advantage in the lead. Is he going to want to chase us or is he going to say goodbye, sayonara, peace out, and dip? feel like he might be dipping. He didn't dip. He did not dip, but he's definitely going to have an uphill battle here to try and catch up to our points. Initiating hard. Sucking up right to this man's door. There we go. Lay off him so we can transition. Kind of feather in. I feel like he's going to back. Yep. He's going to smack the wall there. Kind of suck back into his door. Ooh, over angle there. I feel like that wall tap was not hard enough for him to lose all his points, but apparently he did. Because that was a very solid lead run regardless. So GG on a lead run, I guess that wall tap got you that little bit of uh, hit caused you to lose maybe your clean lead because we were sucking on his door right there. Definitely a solid chase if I say so myself. It's great to be back on the game and have a car that I can throw down some serious tandems with. Yeah, he said no. He said bye-bye. So we can see if we can find somebody else to run. One more run here for this episode. You should follow me on all social media. And apparently I'm just going back and forth with these guys. He's not going to want to go again. He's going to dip out. No. Give the man credit. I would have dipped out personally because if I would have known I can't make a, a solid lead run kidding I wouldn't have dipped out it's not always about winning that was a very bad initiation I've definitely if you guys have battled me before here randomly wow this is a bad lead run randomly you guys know I make a lot of mistakes walls are not my friends sometimes I do bad leads do bad chases so not always perfect not always the best but it's fun regardless so not a 70 but a 57 so 57 2. What's this man got? What's this man got for me? 53. So now we're at a close battle. Definitely going to want to make sure our chase run is solid and uh, right in his door. Because this could end up going to the judges. Could be a couple point difference here. Final chase run of today's episode. If you guys want to see more mobile torture, let me know down in the comment section down below. It's a late initiation by me, but we're going to use it to suck up to the door. Whoa. Caught me off guard with that angle change. Definitely caught me off guard with that basically double flick initiation, but 
We back on the door. Reeling in the door, reeling in the close calls. We managed to scrape a decent chase. So I think we'll take the W on that. So very solid episode today. Taking a couple W's, no losses, and finishing a challenge right away. Five win streak going on. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are in the description box below. And as always, I like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track. Thank you.